There it is. Yeah, oh my God, it's, it's on the ground. It is on the ground. Coming right for us! It's coming right for us, man! Hey, you better take cover! Come on over here! Man, I'm coming right for us! Warning out for a few counties in Oklahoma, Cato, Comanche, and Grady counties. And we are seeing reports of the Fletcher Fire Department reporting a tornado in progress between Fletcher and Sterling, Oklahoma. Reports of power flashes west of Sterling. Also, some media reporting the uh, uh, tornado perhaps crossing a road. For the latest, we want to head over to our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. Yeah, this is it didn't storm. have a tornado warning, but I thought it probably would shortly, and indeed, now it does. Uh, that is the storm that is uh, the Tornado Hunt team has been following. It's a tornado warning for Caddo, Comanche, and Grady counties around the Elgin, the Fletcher, the Sterling areas. There has been a tornado spotted in the Elgin, Sterling area. Here is the high-definition radar. Uh, and you can see a very well-defined hook echo with the tornado the hunting. Right there is Elgin, so they are very close to where the tornado is located. Let me, uh, we have Mike Bettis, and so we'll talk to him. Let me just take a quick look at the velocities. Uh, the uh, circulation uh, right about, very close, within a mile or two of Mike Bettis. So let's go now to Mike Bettis and the tornado hunt team. Can you hear me, Mike? All right, Dr. Forbes, right in behind that storm, Dr. Forbes. And uh, you can see now we've broken out to a little bit of clearing. But that storm now, i got to be honest with you, I think it's just to our, <laughs> we're looking for, actually, actually, if we look off to the north, just ever so slightly, the rotation might actually be off to our left as we are basically aimed south and eastbound here. We have not seen any rotation or what looks to be a funnel at all, but the deal is this, the rain is so blinding we had to get off the highway. I-44 was hail and rain, and so we couldn't stay on that at all. So this is, this is not of the clearing that we're in, but we believe the heart of it is, is what you're looking at in the picture here, a lot of vivid lightning. At this point, it may and be the potential tornado is... force at this point. So now it's getting dangerous to chase. It's getting dark. The sky's dark. Rain wrapped tornado potentially as it races off to the northeast here. We're south of Fletcher, just outside of Sterling to give you 
an idea of where we are. We're basically what would appear to be right where the tornado vortex signature would be, Dr. Forbes. Yeah, Mike, uh, and uh, for the viewers, Mike's location is this at this red uh, tornado hunt uh, signature. If we can put the pop the radar up there. And uh, no my thinking now some of those purples and pinks, those indicate areas where we're seeing a hail two to three inches in diameters. Let's have it or head over to our breaking weather alert system brews. Of course, we've got a new severe thunderstorm warning to tell you about in Oklahoma, but just beneath that, there is that report of that damage at the Goodyear plant in Lawton, Oklahoma. You heard Todd that mention warehouse, some small trees also reportedly snapped and the reports of some insulation on the road. But luckily, as of now, no injuries reported there. Yeah, and again, later in the evening, uh, assuming most folks that work at the plant may have left. And, and of course, in, in case there may be a second shift, if you're concerned, did want to mention that, yeah, but the a sheriff at least there had reported zero injuries with that storm again at the Goodyear plant itself. Here's looking at, at least a couple of the other warnings.